What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We've got another movie reaction for you, and we're jumping back into the horror genre with Hush. If you didn't know, we do movie nights every single weekend over on the Nikki and Steven live channel. We watch movies live with y'all, the community. We have a blast. It's a great time. We absolutely love watching stuff with you guys. So come join us. There should be a link popping up here. There should be one down below. But here we go. Hush. Let's go. Is there supposed to be sound right now? I assume there's supposed to be sound right now. Oh shit, never mind. Never mind. Oh shit. <laughs> gotcha. That was loud as fuck. Oh gotcha. god. I'm like, why is there no sound? Oh, all right, that was, that was meant to be. Cool. Good start, Hush. Way to go. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Damn, the whole head of garlic. Whole head. Damn. Oh, lamb. So good. I'm meal prepping right now and I am hungry. She's so good. She is. I adore her. She is so like, perfect. Oh, is she deaf? Oh. Oh. Not good, apparently. <laughs> That's me cooking. Isn't that always a little bit of a disappointment? When you're like cooking something off a recipe that you think is going to be good and then you're like, mm, I did something wrong. Yeah. Anytime I try to make something new, I always end up burning something or... And... It's Penny. Oh my god, that cat is cute. Dude, she's co but she's cooking, girl. You're gonna burn the house down for real, though. I finished your book. Oh, what? Did you see the title? No, what was it? Midnight Mass. Oh. <laughs> I didn't... I... Riley, I love Aaron. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> Tried to guess the ending. I'm usually on point with that sort of thing, but I was way off. How do you, how do you come up with that? Is she the? <laughs> A voice. Is she, oh, is she, she the, the super religious? She's a crazy lady? Yeah. Is that her? You were 13 when you got sick. Sounds, right? Yeah, it sounds yeah. like her 100%. Midnight Mass, amazing show. I bet it was an incredible novel. Well, I'm sure you're also a lovely kisser. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, now the... Now... Now... Yeah. Okay. There's lamb chops. Oh, Kitty is out. Kitty's like deuces. That is one hell of a fire alarm. Don't let her feed your cat. Oh, right? Shit. <laughs> oh, uh, cat. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> I'm gonna get good. Storyteller. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> if you learned anything from today, this means bitch. It's important. Please. Oh. Craig equals bad.
sweetheart. Church to Father Paul, bring in Aaron Rask. The rage bubbled up, spreading into his head. His ears rang, his eyes felt hot. Aaron dies, can't kill Aaron. <laughs> Scrap the whole book and find another career. Scrap the whole book and find another career, dang. That's what the writer brain does to you, right? with Craig. Oh, now you gotta take it. Ah! <laughs> it's like you can't call him twice and then hang, on. hang up and then expect him not to call you back. Did she ever plug the fire alarm back in? Nope. Oh, that's always a disappointment. Oh my god. Oh my god, literally I can't hear that sound anymore. I can't, fuck, stop, stop, stop. I can't with the sound, good lord. Oh, this is so, what is it, the strangers? This is so creepy. I thought it went on do not disturb when you did that. The idea that this dude's in her house right now is. It's not good for anyone to be alone, Squish. Isolating yourself the way that you do. I... What was that? Behind you, I thought I saw something move. Hell no. God. Oh my God. I love her house though, by the way. I don't know how people live in locations. I'd be scared all the time being so isolated like that. As mm -hmm. amazing as it is, it's probably like alone in the woods. Hell no. Yeah. What the fuck?
Why does a mask almost look like it's like part of his face? Right? It does. It's like there's something like happened to his face. It looks like it's like on the corners. Like it's actually like Damn, how many doors does she have? Right? Oh, shit. Oh, that sound. I don't like this. Oh shit. Too bad she didn't have like a gun in the house. Just cause you're all out there like by yourself. person. Holy shit. Can she hide upstairs? What's hiding gonna do? I don't know. Like, 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 is there a way that she can close off the downstairs from the upstairs? Oh my god. I mean, I gotta say, he was a lot scarier with the mask on. Even though he had, like, a emotionless face. Like there was nothing going on in there, I it can't. feels like. I don't, I don't think I want to watch this anymore. I'm good. Let's put on something Disney. <laughs> like, what do you possibly do in her situation? I fucking know. You can't get outside of the power. You don't have the ability to contact anything. And you gotta deal with the idea that you can't hear anything. Yeah. That's gotta be horrifying. The anticipation of what might happen is insane. Is it the kitty? Is it the kitty? Oh my god, don't. Ew. Oh my god, he's using her hand! Oh my god. Dude, this dude is fucking sick. I, don't, I hate this so much. Is this worse than The Strangers? This is on par. Do not! Do not! Do not! Do not! Oh my god, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not. Was that his face for... is fucking racing. Ah, shit. Ah. Fucker, 
Yes, bitch. Yes. Oh my God, dude. My heart is fucking 122 right now. My heart is fucking nuts right now. Dude, this is fucked up. If she makes it out of this alive, she has a new story to write. Fuck this, dude. Fuck this. <laughs> So is that summer getaway of the cabin in the woods off the table now? Yeah, fuck, fuck that, <laughs> fuck that. Make sure you breathe. Fuck, dude, breathing. <laughs> I'm fucking horrified. I am horrified. Do you think she makes it out of this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. How could he possibly know? It's the leaves. It's the crunchy leaves. I mean, he literally could get in the house whenever he wants. It's not that hard to break that glass. No. In the house. Yeah. He's just fucking playing with her right now. The roof, the roof. It's like, what's going through that sick motherfucker's head right now? I don't know. The problem oh. with all her sneaking around is that she has no idea what level of noise she's making. Right. It's like even opening that window could have... Alerted him. Yeah. Girl. Girl, oh my god, those are not meant to support people. It's like, how far is her friend's house? Like, I mean, she walked there. Oh, oh no! Shit! Oh shit, dude. Oh. Stab him in the face with it as he's climbing up. But she has no idea that he's climbing up right now. That's... Oh, my God. Go, oh, bitch! Fuck oh. yes! Bitch! Fucking shoot him! Fucking shoot him! Fucking shoot him! Oh, my God, girl. Oh, my God, woman! Does, she have a, does he have a partner with him? Because, fuck. Is that thing strong enough to shoot through the glass into his face? <laughs> oh my god. Shit, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh 
Oh shit, dude. <laughs> that part of your leg shot like that? Oh man. This is so fucked up. You. Is that the number of people he's, people he's killed? killed. Is it supposed to be that? Oh, fuck. No, 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 it's just, it's just a Drop phone. It. I was just gonna Hands call the cops. Your head. Okay, on your knees. Okay, take it easy, man. Hands I'm, where I can I'm see him. Friend, you live next door? Yes, sir. Okay. I responded to a call. I got here. I found the place like this. There was someone inside. He came running past me, knocked me cold. I need to call for backup. Do you know who lives here? Yeah, it's uh, uh, Maddie. Maddie Young. Thanks. This isn't like fishy and suspicious to. Signs of possible forced entry. Suspect is at large on foot. So this girl, Maddie, does she have a boyfriend? No, I don't think so. Force of habits. You said you responded to a call. Was that from Maddie? Because she wouldn't be able to make that call. She's deaf and mute. Well, I guess it must have been your girlfriend then. Does it make sense, Dick? Dude walks around the house just a little bit, he's gonna find his girlfriend. Yeah. She always been uh, unable to hear? No, not always. Um... I mean, he knows something's up, for sure. You trashed her car pretty good, huh? Oh, yeah, look at that. Jeez. She showed up when she did. Thank you. Fuck, dude. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, Maddie. He's gonna fight till the end. Get it. Fucking get it. Oh my god, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Got the rear naked. Let's go. Choke him. Oh, he's trying to tap. Is he tapping it? Fuck you. Sorry. Oh, you're good. She got the Vulcan death grip on my arm. It's, Sorry. It's fine. <laughs> no! What? What? I thought she was gonna get out of this. You can't run. Oh, what? What the fuck? Is that her writer's brain taking over? <gasps> yeah. Whole shit, dude. I can't outrun him with that leg. Crossbow, but that has to be a perfect shot. In the heart or in the brain. Heart or the brain. Anything else is not gonna cut it. Won't cut it. Shot. Hiding. Hiding. Bedroom, bathroom, loft. Best case scenario, he doesn't find you and you bleed to death. Dude, this is awesome. She's got alternate endings. 
How long before you can't even walk or stand up or see? I can't run. I can't hide. And we can't wait, which means there's only one ending he won't expect. Kill him. Oh shit, dude. Are you okay? Are you still here? <laughs> this isn't making my fucking head hurt. Sometimes will kill you, you know. Oh, he's got jokes. <laughs> Fucker. Oh, hey there. Oh shit. Not the kitty. You're gonna see mommy very soon. Are you fucking kidding me? Nail to the front. <laughs> Oh. <gasps> oh. Ah. Ah. Okay. Ah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh damn, she said do it. She said do it. She gonna put a bitch on there? Oh shit! Put you on blast, punk. Oh my god, did she go turn on the power while he was doing all this bullshit? Oh. Damn, that friggin' door is strong as fuck. Word. Her hand. Dude, her hand is fucking wrecked, dude. Oh no, he's behind her. Instead, just psh, do that. I think that you're holding out on me. I bet if I hit the right spot, I can make you scream. <laughs> oh! God. Holy shit. Impressed. Oh, bite him. Get the corkscrew. Oh, Get it. Yes, bitch. Oh, fuck my life. My God. Gusher. The 
she have enough energy to get outside to turn the power back on and make a call? Or get to John's phone? Oh, shit. I think she's done. Yeah, he's still got the phone in his pocket, right? Did he take it? Let's go! Hurry up! Don't die! Don't die! Oh, baby kitty. The cat survived. <laughs> Lights! Lights! <laughs> They're coming! What a movie. You see fucking pop up right now alive and like fucking killer is like one last thing. Wow, dude. That movie was awesome. It had so much level of just intensity to it. Just the constant like panic. anticipation. Panic. Just sheer panic. Like just the My my heart, my heart rate was at 122 at one point, and it's still at 104. I'm f freaking out still. It's that like, was a lot. At, at first, when he took his mask off, I'm like, oh, that's not that scary. But then, like, he started talking and, like, toying with her. It's like, this dude's fucked up. Like, he is fucked up. And I hope I uh, never encounter an, an individual like that, if I'm very lucky. I mean, it's just... The, the the idea that she was deaf and, and mute and mute she couldn't like she cry couldn't out scream for help. Right. she couldn't she couldn't hear anything she couldn't scream just that adds such a intense layer of fear because that's like unimaginable for us the idea that there's someone trying to break into your house the shots where he's just staring at her and like tapping on the window while she has like no idea what's happening. Uh, Horrifying. He was like sitting behind her and she could feel his breath on her skin. Yeah, that was like, there was so many sick moments in this movie, but the build, the story, and just the idea that ultimately her writer's brain being able to come up with every potential ending because of her writing. And I absolutely love that they included Midnight Mass in this oh my fantastic God. show. Go watch it if you haven't. So good. But Mike Flanagan is just so good at this. Yes. I just, I mean, she's amazing. Kate Siegel, I think is her name. She is an amazing actor. So good. But uh, that just, was, was, just the way it was all, like it all came together at the end with just the way that he's so calm is like even another increased level of fear. Terrifying. Just, just it just shows terrifying. how psychopathic this dude was. And just the way he killed people, just, it was horrifying. It was a really, really, really excellent scary movie. And it's one of those that almost takes it to another level because it feels real. It does. You know I, I mean? feel like it could happen. Like Very much like The Strangers. Yes, where someone decides your house is the house that I want to break into and you're the person that I want to fuck with. Yeah. <sighs> And just the way that, like, he killed her friend and then used her to, like, knock on the window. There was so much level of just, like, what were you thinking when you wrote this? Like, what what goes... Like, I would love to be in the moment where people are writing stuff like this because that's kind of sick. All this <laughs> like, shit is sick. <laughs> like, that idea we were, is sick. We were talking to another person the other night. What comes... What is the, the horror, like the horror movies, video games. the horror video games, yeah. the horror shows... What is going on in here? Yeah. Shout out to Boomer. You can think of this <laughs> stuff. My God. I mean, I would love to be in the writing room or the outline room, the concept room, where these ideas start coming together because I don't think I'd be able to come up with like most of the stuff that we've seen in some of these movies. That shit was horrifying, scary. I don't know if this was based on any kind of true story or anything because I know The Strangers was, I think, based on a true story oh god but just I, I love the way that it came full circle at the end where she kept trying things and then she was sitting there running through all the, like they got me good 
when she ran out and he bashed her in the face with that rock I or that, that stone. I thought that was it. I thought that was the end. I was like, oh my god, she lost. I, oh shit. And then the way they just kind of transitioned into her imagination and her thought process in how she writes. I thought that was so well done. I thought that was so cool. And came up with every little literal scenario. And what's the one that he wouldn't expect? Kill him. Fight. Go after it. So good. I mean, the moment it started getting intense where the friend came running up to her door, it didn't stop. You felt the intensity all the way through. And I could, I could sense it sitting next to you. That your heart rate and your intensity and your I level of panic. I don't, will remind you, like, make sure you breathe. Stop. I just. At one point, you had the double Vulcan grip on my friggin' arm. Yeah, sorry. Like, about that. that was solid. That was one of the stronger grips she's had on me in all the scary things that we've watched. And that's usually a good level. There weren't any slaps. I think I but did you grabbed. do this. I don't know. The one I, I mean, this remember. movie definitely slaps. It that's for sure. To bring ten, back, 10 out of 10 slaps. To bring back the slap rating. Oh, my God. I mean, it slapped. It grabs. It was scary. Had you on the edge of your seat for the, the entire like, my hour, heart rate 20 is something. still high. Still over 100 right this very moment. I feel like this is the kind of movie that doesn't come out of your brain for a couple days. Yeah. I actually, it's given me a headache because it made me made my like heart rate like. And you weren't breathing. Yeah. Probably, <laughs> breathe, folks. Breathe. Too. If you're not breathing for an hour, you might get some headaches. Oh man, so good though. Yeah. That was an excellent movie. So, very well done. I love the story. Thank you for it's the like, vote. Yeah, it's like a in concept. It's pretty simple. Because it was like one simple location, a couple extra characters, but really two main characters dealing with the conflict. Not a lot of dialogue. And not a lot of dialogue. On and her part. The story was excellent. I thought it was so well done. The, the I think like hour and 20 something, it flew. It felt like in a good way it flew. And I thought it was a perfect, I thought it was a really perfect scary movie. Mm -hmm. I thought it was, it was really, really good. good. Yeah. So, any other thoughts? No. Nope. All right, y'all. You guys leave all your comments down below. We'll catch you guys later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.